Uh, I just wanted to connect a little bit uh, to what, what you presented so far and then uh, uh, just mention um, a project that I've been uh, working on. Um, uh, so with what Peter was uh, talking about, I, I do have, uh, I don't know if you know, but I've been working with Christian Nielsen at Alberg and uh, so we looked at restarters in the Danish economy and it's a very large data set with thousands and so we looked at uh, people who started once and then whatever happened, plus or minus, whatever, and then people who started again. And we, I don't know, did I actually send you the paper? One of the interesting things we found was we, because now we also have the data on the restarters, right? And both ends are very large and it's very good econometrics and Christian is a very good econometrician. Uh, and he basically looked at what are the characteristics of the people who succeed the second time, right? And then compare it with the people who actually start the second time. And, they, and we looked at the type one, type two errors. And, we, and this was the interesting thing we found that the people who are actually more likely to succeed the second time round are exactly the people who are less likely to start the second time around. Uh, <laughs> in Denmark, and it is only Danish. I thought it's just something very interesting given what you presented. It's something you, uh, you might want to know. And I would love to think through what is the connection with Rasmus's finding from Sweden on this particular thing. Did I send you the paper? I, I just think we should have this conversation on what is the connection between the two. Um, and then the thing with the business model canvas that I always have been uh, talking about uh, with Lean Startup as well is there is no role for the stakeholder. The, it's missing from the canvas, right? So, I'm gonna say, so if we can put that back okay, somehow, like that, uh, that would be uh, awesome is what I think. <laughs> and then the, lastly, uh, what I am trying to understand in terms of the equity relationships, the way we are trying to understand is uh, we actually have about 200 entrepreneurs call in for five minutes a day for 60 days in a row. And we are literally thinking, what is that thing that builds the muscle of you know, effectual reasoning so that you can eventually build learning, something kind of a flight simulator so they don't have to go into the actual plane to learn, right? Uh, and, the, and, the, and the mechanism we are looking at is literally the ask, right? Who are you trying to call and what are you asking for? And are there better ways and worse ways to ask? So we are using the ask as the muscle. Can you build an ask muscle? you know, asking effectually, literally. But the thing is, we're trying to understand how people actually do it, then we can move them uh, and also do a series of experiments. We are doing a series of experiments on asking and perspective taking, whether you're actually able to put yourself in the shoes of the other person uh, and, uh, and the way you ask changes when you can put it yourself in the shoes of the other person. So that's kind of the project I'm in, involved in. And these are all really working projects, so I'm not sure I want to be talking about results yet. <laughs>